Hey everybody, it's Justin. I got 14 titles uh, for the month of March that I'm talking about. This is my March Blu-ray haul. I got a lot of titles here from Amazon, Target, um, Best Buy, and Family Video. So, let's dive in and talk about these Blu-rays I picked up for the month of March. The first title I got here is American Hustle. Picked this up at Best Buy for $19.99. Really great film. This is my top 10 of last year. If you pre-ordered American Hustle at Best Buy, you got an extra 100 Best Buy reward points. It's a really good deal. I haven't watched this yet on Blu-ray, uh, so I don't know the quality of it, but I did see it in theaters, loved it, so I'm really looking forward to watching this soon on Blu-ray. Next up from Target is my favorite uh, movie of last year, my favorite release of March, and that is The Wolf of Wall Street, the Target Steelbook exclusive. Really nice Steelbook here, really great on Blu-ray, I watched it already. I love the mustard yellow. Um, disappointed there's nothing on the back, but this was $19.99 at uh, Target, so really great deal. They might still have it if you guys go out and get it. I don't know how much it is now, but it's worth it. I really love this uh, still book. In 2014 Academy Award Best Picture winner is 12 Years a Slave. Picked this up from Best Buy for $17.99. I think the second week it was out. I haven't watched this yet on Blu-ray. Um, only saw it in theaters. Really enjoyed this film. Um, it's, it's haunting and it's very hard to watch at times. Um, so I'm going to have a hard time watching it again, but I'm going to watch around get a watch. I'm going to get around to watching it soon, so I have a few movies I need to watch in um, the next few weeks. I picked up a classic I haven't seen before, and that's Cleopatra. A uh, long movie, um, looking at it. But this stars Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor, and I picked this up for $7.99. I was just in a mood for a Egyptian uh, movie with like queens and pharaohs and stuff, and Cleopatra was at the top of the list when I googled movies like that. So it was $7.99, so I thought I might as well just get it. Best Buy had a Sony save station, buy one, get one free, and I found two movies that I wanted to get, um, and that was Attack the Block, which is a really great film, and Zombieland. So $9.99 for both these titles, five bucks a piece, really great deal. Also while I was at Best Buy that same day, I picked up The Waterboy for $5.99, and King Kong, um, this exclusive slipcover um, winner of three Academy Awards, including Best visual effects in 2005's nice gold slipcover and that was $7.99 from family video I ordered gravity uh, it doesn't come with a slipcover that was $9.99 which is a really great deal and cloudy with a chance of meatballs 2 which was $10.99 the reason I got cloudy with a chance of meatballs 2 again is because I had the Costco one I bought it was scratched I returned it didn't want to keep it didn't even want to buy it because it was like $27 so I just returned it, got my money back, and then I just bought it from Family Video for $10.99. And got this for $9.99. Both of these together are cheaper than they were at Costco for just this movie. So you do the math. What's a better deal? From, for $9.99 at Best Buy, I picked up Short Term 12. I haven't watched it yet, but I've heard a lot of great things about it. Really uh, looking forward to watching this. I really like the slipcover here. It's white. Or not the slipcover. The Blu-ray case, it's white. Nice. Something that's different. So... It's got Brie Larson, and I'm really looking forward to seeing this. A few Disney movies I got. Uh, these, this one is from the Disney Movie Rewards, and that's The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Came with a slipcover. Really happy about that. I enjoy this movie. Nicolas Cage and Jay Bruchel, um, and um, what's her name? Teresa Palmer. Uh, I like this movie, so I think it was like 1,700 points. So I got that. And then I bought Frozen for $19.99 at Best Buy. Love this film. And then Saving Mr. Banks from Amazon. Alright, so this is my March 2014 Blu-ray haul. A lot of great titles here. 14 titles. I need to cut down on buying Blu-rays. I'm trying to, like, figure out a system where I can only buy so many movies a month. And I want to see if I can buy five movies in the month of April. Five movies. You think I can do that? I don't think I can. I already bought one today. I bought The Kings of Summer for $7.99 off of Amazon. And then, you know, The Hobbit I'm going to buy. And then... Anchorman 2 and Secret Life of Walter Mitty. So there's four already. I don't let's see if I can do this. If I do this, I'd be very proud of myself, but I don't think I can. So this is Just Watches Movies with a Blu ray haul for the month of March 2014. Hope everybody has a great month of April ahead of them, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.